Apparently, if you call the cops on yourself while you're driving a stolen car, you're gonna get a wanted level. So let's call them in. And yeah, there we go, myth busted. That's one myth, we have 99 more to go. We're gonna test other popular myths like seeing if hiding in a bush will make you invisible to the cops, testing if bulletproof cars are actually bulletproof and more. There's a myth that you can't set someone in a juggernaut suit on fire and we tested this in the rain. And even with the rain, you can see here that yes, the juggernaut is on fire. Myth busted. People keep telling me that you won't get a wanted level if you're shooting people's cars with a surprise suppressed gun. And it actually took a lot longer than an unsuppressed weapon, but yeah, you can still get a wanted level. There's a common belief that you can't take the easy way out if you're in passive mode. And while you can't kill enemies in passive mode, this myth isn't true. You can still do it even in passive mode. Apparently at Franklin's house, there's two mushrooms out front, one for Mario and one for Luigi. But when I tested it out for myself in online, they weren't there. So this one is only in single player. Shooting a flare at this umbrella is supposed to launch you in the air. Okay, that one didn't work too well. Let's try it again. Yeah, we are flying right now. Okay, this one definitely confirmed. People on Reddit say that if you call the number 34774-3892, that it'll put your phone in dark mode. I don't even know if this one's a myth. It's just a complete lie. Completely busted. Apparently, these umbrellas are meant to hover when you shoot them. And I tested a bunch of guns, even the up anatomizer, and no, they just fall to the ground like a normal umbrella. Busted. The muskets have the same range as a sniper rifle. To test this out, we went down to the airport, and the sniper rifle has a lot of range. But with the musket, we tried this for a solid five minutes, and no, no hits at all. Myth busted. No wonder the musket goes in the shotgun slot. Motorbikes don't have fall damage. Let's find out. Okay, I need to land this flat. I need to land this completely flat, or else we're probably gonna die. Wow, no fall damage at all. Man, our character is strong. Myth confirmed. You can shoot a rocket through open car doors. Let's try it out. Oh, okay. That one blew up. That may have hit the door. I don't know. That was close. Let's try it with a different vehicle. Okay, let's get the slow-mo on this one. That definitely didn't hit anything. This myth is busted. You can take an F1 car through a car wash. And unfortunately, even though that would be really funny, this myth is busted. You can't do it. The cops actually can't see you if you hide in a bush. Okay, this one didn't work. Maybe the bush is too small. This one's way bigger. All right, let's hide in here and wait. All right, we're definitely in range. Yeah, the cops, the cops are right there. They're walking right next to me. It's true. Myth confirmed. Hi guys. Changing your mask or headwear will reduce your wanted level by one star. Let's switch this over. And yeah, we dropped from three to two. Boost from an oppressor Mark II will set a pedestrian on fire. Hey buddy, I'm sorry for what's about to happen. And no, it just kind of pushes him back. Myth busted. If you make a trail of gasoline, the backfire of a car exhaust will light it up. Let's hop inside, spin the wheels, and okay, wow. Wow, this one actually works. I didn't think it would. That's really cool. You can derail the roller coaster with the up anatomizer. This would be absolutely hilarious, especially if someone was on it, but no. This one doesn't work, busted. You'll actually get electrocuted in the power station. And yeah, if you jump up on these things, it will electrocute you, which makes perfect sense. The surfboards at the beach actually float and you could ride them. This is really funny because apparently surfing is gonna be in GTA 6, but I really tried and no, this one doesn't work in GTA 5, busted. If you blow up a car, the firemen will come and spray water on it, but they won't actually put the fire out. So we blew up the car, let's see what they do. Okay, here they come, they're spraying water on it. Will the fire go out? Not yet. Okay, no, they actually did put the fire out. Myth busted, they do. Myth 22, there are no whales or sharks in GTA Online. They're only in story. I've been swimming around here for about 20 minutes. No, there are no whales here. That is myth confirmed. Myth 23, at Michael's house, you can still go in the same window that Franklin broke into in story mode. All right, let's fly up here with the oppressor. And no, it looks like there's glass there. Let's try and break it. No, no, you can't go in. Myth busted. Myth 24, you can blow open the safe in the back of the convenience store. Let's try it. All right, one sticky bomb, two. Put a third one on there. That should do the trick. Let's blow it up. Yeah, that safe is not opening. Myth busted. Apparently in ammunition, we can up anatomizer ourselves above the roof by going on top of the vending machine. 
Let's try it. Okay, we're up on top. No, nope, that didn't work. Let's try it again. All right, here we go. That one's good. Surely, stand up. Oh, yeah, we are in the roof. Okay, myth confirmed. I didn't expect that to work. Throwing a Molotov will blow up any other explosives on the ground. So let's put the sticky bomb here. Throw the Molotov. Yeah, okay, it does. Myth confirmed. Apparently, there's a glitch that if you put on an alien suit that covers your head, then change your character's appearance and then put a hat on. Apparently, your suit will be glitched. Let's see. Got the suit. Let's change our appearance. And yeah, okay, we're not wearing the top part of the suit. We don't have a mask. Myth confirmed. The vending machine only has 10 sodas in it before it runs out. It's run out of sodas. Okay, yeah, that was 10. Myth confirmed. Apparently you can't combat roll while holding a minigun. And yes, this one is true. Myth confirmed. Bulletproof tires can still pop if you do a burnout for too long. I've been doing this for a long time. These tires are definitely not popping. So myth busted. Taking a photo of a police officer will get you a wanted level. Hey officer, how you doing man? Smile. Okay, took a photo. Do I need to take a photo of his face? No, he just doesn't care at all. Okay, myth busted. Shooting an RPG, then switching weapons, then switching back will auto reload the RPG. This is actually true, myth confirmed. This is called RPG spamming. It's pretty common in GTA Online. You'll see a lot of tryhards doing it. In some convenience stores, there are gumball machines, and if you shoot them, gumballs will pop out. Myth confirmed. The amount of detail Rockstar put in this game is crazy. Your knife will have blood on it after stabbing someone. All right, we're gonna test it out on this poor innocent man right here. I'm sorry, man. We're gonna do it for the content. And okay, yeah, that's that's blood on the knife. That's grim. But myth, myth confirmed. Myth 35. You can't set firemen on fire because they're wearing fireproof jackets. Here come the firemen. Man, this is an incredibly evil thing to do, but we're doing it for the content. Okay, I shouldn't have thrown that. Get out. Get out, boys. All right. I'm sorry. Who wants to be the, the guinea pig here? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you definitely can set them on fire. Myth busted. If you're robbing a convenience store and you shoot an empty weapon, the store clerk will realize that and start shooting you. So I've got an empty gun here. I'm going to shoot him and make sure he hears that empty click. Okay, well, yeah, he's pulled out his gun. Okay, that's really, really clever and cool. Myth confirmed. If you push a civilian's car into a cop car, the cops will then pursue the civilian. All right, let's see with this guy. We're gonna have to get a run up here and absolutely ram him. Okay, that definitely hit. And the cop doesn't seem to care at all. Okay, myth busted. I wish that happened to me. Myth 38, you always win the podium vehicle if you wait five seconds before you spin. So let's go up to the wheel. We're going to put our hand on. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Spin. Okay, that was a very, very light spin. So it could be right. No, no. Okay, we actually weren't even close. Yeah, this one's definitely busted. Not true. You can shoot your own throwables out of the air. All right, let's go first person. This should be easier. So we'll throw the grenade. Okay, yeah, I missed. I missed. Cut that. All right, maybe we have to switch to a sticky bomb. All right, let's throw that. Yep, okay, got it first go. It works. Myth confirmed. Cool. If you take the easy way out with a motorbike helmet on, the bullet will deflect and you'll live. Okay, here we go. Okay, yeah, nope, that definitely didn't work. Myth busted. Entering the military base in a military vehicle won't give you a wanted level. So I have to make sure I don't own the Ford Zancudo hanger on this account. So let's go in. And we're good so far. Are we good? No? Okay, there's the wanted level. Yeah, this one definitely busted. Unfortunately, that would be really cool if that worked, but nah. You can pick up port with a cargo bob. So I knocked this one over because I failed to pick it up before, but I'm hoping now that it's knocked over, this should work. Okay, wow, that locked on like straight away. Yeah, this works. I hope no one's inside this because uh, myth confirmed could get messy in there. The Meriwether airstrike flare will change position if you throw it in the back of a vehicle and drive away. So we've got it in there and we'll drive away. Where is it going to come down? No, okay, it's still over there. It's a long way away. Myth busted. Myth 44, you can pick up women on a motorbike. <laughs> Let's give this a go. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies, you like my new bike? And no, okay, up the top left, it says we can't pick them up. Myth busted. Damn, that would be really weird if we could. If you call an airstrike on yourself and then go into passive mode, it will still kill you. Let's call Meriwether. We're going to call in this airstrike. Now we quickly have to throw it and go in passive mode. Passive mode on. 
We got a wanted level for some reason. But, uh... I don't know. What, what's going on? Is this... The airstrike's not coming in. Okay, that just cancels the airstrike. Myth busted. You can run over as many pedestrians as you want, and you won't get a wanted level if you're honking your horn. To be fair, I am warning them as I'm mowing them down. Nope, okay, there's the wanted level. Yep, myth busted. Wearing scuba gear will protect you from tear gas. We had to go out into the water to test this one. It was kind of difficult, but as you can see here, yeah, we still die. So, myth busted. A dump truck derails the tram in the city. So let's give this a go. Damn, this thing's big. I just hit that pole. Uh, okay, tram. Excuse me, sir. Okay, he's just going to stop. Seriously? I'm just going to ram him. Let's go back. Let's give him a big old ram. Yeah, okay. He's not budging at all. He's definitely glued to those tracks. This one is busted. Driving the wrong gang car to a different gang location will start a fight. So we've got a purple ballers car, and these guys out front don't seem to care. I even drove inside right up to this guy, and he does not care at all. So, myth busted. Calling the cops on a gang street will start a shootout. So we're in Grove Street. If the cops are going to start a fight anywhere, it would probably be here. How do you do, officer? No, you don't, you don't care at all? Okay, we're good. This cop does not care, and neither does anyone in Grove Street. You can drive a truck fully underwater, and yeah, this one is pretty much true. As long as the intake and the exhausts are above the water level, it's completely fine. The truck is still going strong, myth confirmed. You can survive underwater if you just keep eating snacks. So we're way under here, we're out of oxygen, we're losing health, and yeah, snacks are healing us. I wonder what snacks we're eating. Must be like Lay's chips with all that air. If you shoot the inflatable stick guys out front of Simeon's, they'll deflate. And no, it looks like these guys are completely invincible and honestly, fair enough. Leave these guys alone. They're pretty cool. Running over an NPC that's sitting down will instantly kill them. And no, this actually doesn't even really work. If an NPC is sitting down, you can't bump them. Following an NPC for too long will make them freak out and run away. And, I don't know man, I followed this woman long enough to be put on a registry somewhere, and she didn't care at all, so myth busted. Setting an NPC on fire with a flare gun won't get you a wanted level because the game thinks they got killed by fire instead of your gun. So we took one guy out. Okay, that one didn't work, let's, let's do more. Are they on fire down there yet? Okay, no, there's a wanted level, definitely, so no, this one's busted. The Torador has the furthest boost out of all of the vehicles that have boost in the game. So let's start off with the Oppressor. Mark II, that is. Oh, where are we going to get to? Okay, not very far. I'm going to get my friend to stand here so we know where that is. Right, we've got the Oppressor Mark I now, and wow, we absolutely destroyed the Oppressor Mark II boost. This is a long way up. I don't know if anything's going to beat this. We've got the Vigilante. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. We beat it by a lot as well. All right, here it is, the Torador. This should have the furthest boost, apparently. Wow. Okay, that's really disappointing. I thought that would go a lot further. Rocket Voltic time. The Rocket Voltic beat the Vigilante? All right, Scramjet. No way. No way. Oh my- it destroyed everything! Myth busted! The scramjet has the furthest boost by a lot! You can put sticky bombs on the inflatable balls at the beach and kick them. This ball will then kill anyone it touches. Alright, let's throw the sticky bomb. Okay, so it's rolling. I guess that's part one done, but can we kill someone with this? Let's have a look. Oh. Okay, this is actually a lot harder to- to push than you would think. We're playing soccer over here. We're playing football. Wait a minute. Did that? Did that explosive just not kill that guy? Okay, no, that definitely didn't kill him. That hit him and it did not kill him. Okay, that's myth busted. Pulling guns out in front of police officers will get you a wanted level. So this one's not actually true. Pulling a gun out, they won't care at all. It's only when you actually aim at them and then you instantly get a wanted level, which honestly makes complete sense. So this one is busted. Continuously tasing NPCs won't get you a wanted level. 
And honestly, I had to tase quite a few people, but as you can see here, eventually, yes, I did get a wanted level, so this one is busted. You can survive full damage over water by pulling a parachute and then cancelling the parachute, no matter how high up you are. So let's jump off. Here we go, we've got our parachute. Just gonna make sure we're over the water and cut the parachute. Okay, I am gonna be very surprised if this works. And it works. Wow, we barely lost any health. That's insane. Myth confirmed. That's awesome. You can hold twice as much armor by buying max armor from ammunition and then call Franklin and get a supply stash and he'll give you more. So we got our max armor. Let's call Franklin. Request a supply stash. All right, we're going to wait for this one. All right, found it. It's over here. Let's see. All right, let's check my armor stats. How many armor do we have? No, we still have 10. Unfortunately, we don't go above that. That kind of sucks. That would be a really, really cool technique. If you block the tram for too long, it eventually just runs you over. I have been standing here for a few minutes. This guy is extremely patient, but no, he is not running me over. This is a myth busted. Going on the internet and typing google.com in-game will actually open up Google. And no, it just pops up saying missing, which kind of makes sense. Or it can also show you blurred women and a 404 error code, which is pretty funny. If you throw a sticky bomb on a window and then break the glass, the sticky bomb will float. So I put two on the windscreen here, and as you can see, when we shoot the glass, they actually just fall off onto the hood. It's actually kind of realistic and pretty cool, but myth busted. You can stick tear gas to the wall by waiting for the beeps to stop and then throwing it. I'm not really sure how this works, but yes, if you hold it for a long time and then throw it at a wall, it will stick to the wall. I don't understand it, but cool, I guess, myth confirmed. The fire barrels under the highway where the hobos are don't actually set you on fire. And confirmed, these are fake fires, they don't light you on fire, so completely safe. But at least we know the homeless people in Los Santos won't be burning themselves with fire. So that's pretty good. Myth busted though. You can actually get snacks from the agency kitchen. And this one's true. A lot of people think you can only get snacks from the bottom floor of the agency next to the elevator. But yeah, you can actually get them in the kitchen. So you can get them on the top and the bottom floor of your agency. Myth confirmed. In the 50 car garage on the bottom floor, there's a vending machine in the back. And if there is one in here, I couldn't find it because I searched this entire kitchen and there is no vending machine. So myth busted. I don't know where it is. You can derail the tram. And no, this has been a long running myth. You used to actually be able to derail the train, but you can't do that anymore. But no, you've never been able to derail the tram. Proximity mines will stick to NPCs. These people are absolutely terrified, but I am going to try and throw a sticky bomb on one of them. I promise. Hi, love. How you doing? Here, take this sticky bomb. Whoa, okay, that went like right through it, in one end and out the other, but no, it didn't stick. So, um, myth busted. You can take a car off the street and sell it at Benny's, not only just Los Santos Customs. And while this would be cool, unfortunately, no, you can only sell cars off the street at Los Santos Customs. To take a car into Benny's, it needs to be a Benny's vehicle. You can bottle flip a car with a cargo bomb. Okay, let's try this. Let go. No way I just did that first go. Oh my god, myth confirmed. Shooting a flare at a parachute will instantly destroy it. All right, here he comes. Gonna have to line this shot up. Miss, okay. Let's try this one. Got it. Okay, yep, yeah, that works. That works. Myth confirmed. Rip. But what about with the Ruiner 2000 parachute? Will it work then? Okay, we're gonna shoot. And okay, wow. Yeah, okay, it works. It works with every type of parachute. Myth confirmed again. You can parachute when you have a juggernaut suit active. Now, this one just doesn't seem like it should be a thing. Because I don't know how a parachute is going to go over the juggernaut and, and carry me. Like, that's very, very heavy. But let's see. I've got it on. Let's walk off the edge. And yeah, okay, I've got a parachute. Let's see if it works, though. Yeah. Okay, wow, that works. Myth confirmed. You can land the biggest plane on top of the Maze Bank Tower. Now, I actually did this last year. This took me very, very long. If you haven't seen that video, I landed every single plane in the game on top of the Maze Bank Tower. 
And as you can see here, we got it. The biggest plane in the game, which is currently the Alkanost on top of the tower. Myth confirmed. And speaking of crazy challenges, people told me that you couldn't drive a bus to the top of Mount Chiliad, and I did that as well. It is really tricky though. You have to go up the long way and take it very, very slow. I failed about... 50 times doing this. This took me like all day. You can hit a snipe from the Maze Bank Tower all the way to Mount Chiliad. I spent a long time standing here while my friend was sniping me and you can't even hear any bullets coming and that's actually because the maximum sniper range in GTA Online is around 1,500 meters and these two are a lot further away than that. So while this would be really cool, myth busted. Apparently paramedics will pick up dead civilians, but um, yeah, yeah, I stood here watching these paramedics apparently do their job and they kind of just looked at him, wrote some notes and then left. So no, he's just going to kind of stay there forever, I guess. Myth busted. You can pick up a juggernaut with a cargo bob. When I read this, I thought it was kind of crazy, but you know what? Since you can pick up a porta potty, maybe, maybe this will work. Let's try it. Uh, okay, no, that one definitely hit. That one should have latched on. Yeah, no, that's that's just bouncing off the Juggernaut suit. Unfortunately, while this would actually be incredibly hilarious, no, this one is busted. Rockets bounce off shallow water, and this one's actually true. The easiest way to test it for yourself is to come down to Vespucci Beach right here, and as you can see, they're just sort of deflecting off up into the air and eventually blowing up. Myth confirmed. If you keep jumping a BMX bike in shallow water, it will eventually hover. Okay, I'm getting very close to just saying myth busted on this one. Nothing is happening here at all. Wait, what? Oh, okay, wait, we are hovering. No way! How does that even work? Myth confirmed! We all know slick mines are used for spinning out cars, but apparently it also works if you walk over it. So I'm gonna try and activate my own slick mines. Here we go. Oh. Oh, okay, it does work. That's kind of surprising, actually. Myth confirmed. Apparently, the Juggernaut suit doesn't have fall damage, so I'm going to request the ballistic equipment. Here it is. All right. Just going to wait for it to actually pop up. There we go. All right, let's see. Let's see if we die. Okay, I could pull the parachute, but no, we're not going to. We're going to just, just ride this one out, see what happens. And... Okay, yeah, no, definitely still has fall damage. Rest in peace to Mr. Juggernaut. If you piss off a fire truck, they'll end up just shooting water at you. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Sorry to ram you here, but I do have to test this myth. I know you're just trying to do your job, guys. I'm sorry, but it would be really funny if you shot me with your fire hose right now. Not gonna lie. No? No, you're not interested at all? Okay, unfortunately, myth busted. A fire hydrant will blow up sticky bombs. So we knocked over the fire hydrant. Let's throw the sticky bomb at it. Okay, no way that works. That that one genuinely surprised me. I did not think that was going to work at all. No way. <laughs> okay, myth confirmed. The armored Karuma is a bulletproof car. And this is another common misconception. Not true. It's mostly bulletproof, but there's actually a few spots you can still get shot at while you're inside. So if you're using this vehicle, be careful because you can still get shot. Water from the fire truck will blow up sticky bombs as well. So let's test this. I'm throwing out a lot of sticky bombs here. All right, let's spray them down. And no, okay, wow. I really thought that would work considering the other one worked, but no, this just does absolutely nothing. Myth busted. Ejecting from a plane when it's upside down near the ground will instantly kill you. This is going to be a bit tricky. Let's see how close we can get to the ground. Oh, this should kill me surely right here. And no. No, it looks like I lived. Myth busted. Electric vehicles can tank more explosives than non-electric vehicles. Now, this one is actually true, but only for Imani Tech armored vehicles. Non-electric vehicles can only take around four explosives, but the electric ones can take around 12. It's actually quite a lot. These things are tanky. We all know the Rhino Tank Cannon can kill players, but how about the Kanjali one? So let's test it with a rhino first. Here, just absolutely smack him, and yeah, that's a kill. But when we switch to the Kanjali, it gets very weird. I'm not sure if it's just not fast enough or what's going on, but it actually just pushes players. It doesn't flip them over and ragdoll. So this one is busted. Sprinting and jumping is faster than just sprinting. So let's test this out. We're having a little race here, and no. In free roam areas, just sprinting is a lot faster. 
But we tested this again when you aren't able to sprint and you're only able to jog. And what we found is that jogging and jumping is faster than just jogging. So for things like certain missions where you're not allowed to sprint or you're carrying something heavy, then jumping will actually be faster. Can you stack three cars on top of each other? And we had to get very creative with this one. Link will be in the description below to watch the full video of this one. But this one took a very long time. <laughs> but myth confirmed. Standing near a fire dries clothes faster. We're gonna have to pull up a split screen for this one because this is gonna take a while. After that, pretty safe to say, myth busted. You can flip a boat over in water. We're flipping this pretty hard. Not gonna lie, this should have flipped over by now. I'm gonna have to say this one is myth busted. Apparently you can shoot a Molotov out of someone's hand. And as you can see here, this is myth busted. We did find later though that you can shoot sticky bombs out of someone's hand, but no, not Molotovs. Will shooting a taser pop a tire? This is gonna be very tough to actually pull off ever because tasers have like no range, but this is actually true. As you can see here, we shoot it and the tire gets popped. That would be a very embarrassing way to lose a tire. Myth confirmed. For myth 100, can you melee underwater? And indeed, yes, you can. Not sure how effective this would be, but this myth is confirmed. This video was really fun to make, so if you have any more myths that you want me to test out, comment them down below and maybe we can make another one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Boys?